That was different. <laughs> so how's it going, my comic chat army? Back with another review. Yeah, Sorry we wasn't here last week because just wasn't. Wasn't feeling it. No. So. No. Had a lot going on. Everybody was sick. Kidding. Baby was sick. No, yeah. I'm kidding about not feeling it, but the baby yeah. was sick. She's going through a lot of health stuff right now. Daycare. Specialist coming up to figure out what's going on with her system. She's very sensitive and... Yeah. Yeah. So. And we think kids are like licking each other in daycare. It's just a big old germ factory. Yeah. Like, yeah. So. so. But anyway. But the whole reason you're here, Avalon. Yeah. I will need to get like drums and stuff. Like. Yeah. I'll play with it. Avalon. Yeah. Symbol on it. And. number three. And if y'all know a way to get a hold of Aftershock Comics, get them in touch with me. Yes. I've repeatedly messaged them on Facebook, Instagram. They're clearly reading my messages, but they refuse to respond to me. Yeah. And I, I really enjoy this book. So. so, I don't know what that's about. Never had that happen before. Mm-mm. Had a lot of publishers say, hey, look, right now is not a good time. Talk oh, to me. No. Right. Just, yeah. Just or just tell me, yeah, theory. tell me something. <clears throat> Not Aftershock. Nope. So. All, all that's getting cut out. <laughs> Funny uh, mask. Wait, what did the back say? Wow, six years, 400 plus creators. Shattering all expectations. Right. I just That's pretty cool. I don't even want to interview four hundred. Just give me five, six. What? Give me one, right. Answer my messages. Uh, hello. Shit. Send this to Aftershock. Answer my messages. Cody Johnson on YouTube. Check yes. you know, you're reading it, but you're not responding. Bunny mask, issue four. If you haven't seen issue three. If you haven't seen the first three, first two, put it up there. Yeah. So where does this so the beginning is a little, a little weird. I don't understand why they. So Tyler, if you know who Tyler is, we'll go back in the. What? Tyler Durden. No. Oh. So if you go back in the other two reviews, you'll know who Tyler is. Durden. He's in stop. He's basically who kind of saved B, which is the young girl. But I don't want to get into the other two books. But anyway. It's like an ambush in this apartment with him and these two girls, and like they're it. basically, like, almost killed. Like, they're held hostage, and then this sheriff shows up and shoots them and takes them out. And, <laughs> yeah, like, I don't understand what that has to do with anything. But, so, basically, Tyler keeps hearing, since he went to the cave and rescued B, he keeps hearing the voices. He keeps hearing they call it the snitch. So, yeah. And basically what the snitch is is he, like, goes and tells, like, what's going on. So, like, if you're in a room of people, it's hard to explain it. You can hear, like, the secret stuff, the devious stuff people are doing around mm, you. Okay. Like, he's cheating on his wife. He shot a man. You know what I mean? Okay. But it's driving him nuts. So what does the girl in the bunny mask have to do with anything? It's all her and, like, tied together. Like, she's in the cave. Like, I'm still getting through okay. all of this. We got issue four over there. But anyways, the sheriff, Sheriff Tate, shows up, who was also in the cave that night that rescued Tyler, and he hears the voices, too. And he came to tell Tyler, uh, do I need to, can I say it all? And Sarah, let him read it. If you don't want the book spoiled, leave a like. And, or fast forward. Yes. A and minute. It's kind of like, so I'm going to pull the book here. Tyler's been seeing who he thought was the little girl, B, that he, B Foster, that he saved. And that's who he's kind of grown feelings for. He's been spending time with her. Remember, she's been making statues of the bunny mask girl. Mm-hmm. Well, Sheriff Payne came to tell him, not only do I hear the same voices, but B is dead. Her body was found in the <laughs> cave when she was 14. Uh, She's like, I don't know who you're talking to or dating or seeing, but it's not B. Yeah. So that's kind of where we leave off a little bit. 
it's just a crazy book. Like, I feel like if this was a done movie? correctly, you could do a show or a movie off of it. Okay. I do. I really do. Funny mask, one out of ten. What do you recommend? Oh, it's a ten for me. I love this book. All right. Love it. So, I have a lot. One. Yes. And I just recently interviewed the creator, Chris. I don't want. I don't know how to say his last name. So it's coming out when Wednesday, I think. Wednesday. Either way, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell to all, so you don't miss the upload. So he printed it on a hundred pound cover stock and eighty pound paper, which is a little bit thicker than your normal comic book paper, like fill it. Oh yeah. 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 So the book kicks off with the police. Knocking on someone's door, right? I thought he was a filmmaker. The way the book just flows, I thought he was like a short. I thought he made short films, but he doesn't. August. Yeah, but he doesn't. He doesn't make short films at all. Okay. So, the book has no setup, nothing. It's just like you see in the first page. Police knocking on a woman's door. Then you got the kids in the booth. The gentleman right there in the plaid shirt is a cop. His name is Phil. Like right. Phil. <laughs> his name is Phil and he's a police officer and he was like look don't come in today because someone got bit by a drunk girl they had to go to the hospital and got really sick alright see where this is going it's not I guess it's not the undead zombies it's not even zombies they don't even say zombies they don't even know that it's zombies yet it's just people are biting other people and getting sick okay so we're celebrating this kid's 16th birthday Mm-hmm. And he has like social anxiety, but the way the book is worded, it's like people are talking, like actual I, real conversations. I enjoy right? books like that, yeah, because then it's easy to like kind of fall into the scene of yes. what you're reading. Right, and it flows really good when you're reading it. Um, that's a gift to be able to write like that. Oh yeah, not gonna spoil it, but the book is in black and white. Last page is in color. We talk about it in the interview. But definitely dope book. I want to see where issue two goes. Very original for a zombie book. Well, I'm not even going to say zombie. For a plague book. Let's say that. Because I don't know. Say, I don't know that it's zombies. Yeah, because you don't know. Right. But, look, we do get red, white, and black. Definitely pick this book up. Very original. Like, I got to see where number two is. One out of ten. Brandon, hold on. Brandon said it is completely written all the way up to issue six. They just got to do the art for it. Wow. So he should be pumped out. He's kind of new on the scene. So check him out. Check out the interview. Check out the book. I definitely highly recommend it. I give it a nine out of ten. Don't wow. book. Yeah, right. Pretty. And that's a different book for you. That's yes. kind of like more of what I typically review. Yes. I like goofy, weird, and funny, and something that's going to make you laugh. But this was very serious and to the point. Both of these books are pretty serious. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Avalon, issue one. Interview coming out Wednesday. So, do all the YouTube stuff. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. And if this video gets 20 likes, that's it. Just a small 20 likes. Carrie will do the intro next week. 20 small likes. You think this is going to happen. No. Raise my likes. No. That's it. No. Nine out of ten. I have a lot. I know that they're there, and that's what makes me nervous. But they're not I'm there. Nervous. It's just us here. But it. But they watch it, so. Later, in the future. <laughs> Bunny mask, ten out of ten. I have a lot, nine out of ten. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Would you guys like to do, like, a... We've tried this before, nothing happened, but this was kind of early on. You guys would like to do like a Q&A to kind of get to know who we are a little bit more? Yeah. Drop Let some comments. Know. Yeah, drop questions. some questions down in the comments. Open to it. And if um you have any comic related if you, you know, anything. Want to, get to know who we are or whatever. Yeah. We are not shy. Nope. Shout out to Elena B for commenting and liking all of our videos. Yep. Um send me your address through an email on Comic Chat Authority. And Or if you look on the back end of my channel, you'll get all of our information, and we'll send you some swag. We'll send you some stickers and bookmarks. So. Yep. All right. Okay. Yep. You ain't got to go home, but you can't stay here, guys. What? You mean you haven't subscribed to Comic Chat Authority? Oh, come on. Subscribe already. What are you waiting for? It's no big deal. 
Like, man, don't forget to tell him to hit that like button. Yeah, yeah, that too. Just subscribe.